Addressing racial disparities in college education, the University of Kentucky College of Education and the NAACP are launching a new collaboration. They're teaming up to develop an education and research initiative focused on educational equity, civil rights, and social justice. Joining me tonight on The Breakdown to talk about this new initiative is UK College of Education Dean Julian Vasquez Heileg. Uh, Dean, thank you so much for joining us tonight. So glad to join you. This is, we keep saying it, but this really is, it is groundbreaking. It is a collaboration in both education and research and focus on things that we've got to continue having a conversation on. First of all, uh, why UK and how did this even come about? Well, that's a great question. You know, my uh, volunteerism within NAACP goes back about 10 years. First with the Texas NAACP, and then later with the California NAACP, where I served as education chair for the state uh, and on the executive committee before I came to UK. And when I was having conversations with UK about making a move from Cal State here to UK, this was one of the priorities that we talked about, uh, that I talked about with the faculty, with the students, with the provost. And folks were really excited about this one of a kind collaboration. In 2017, the NAACP actually passed a national resolution to start a new research center like this. And so I approached the president and CEO, Derek Johnson, and told him Kentucky's the perfect place for this center. Kentucky should be the center of the national conversation, the statewide conversation about civil rights and education. Uh, and he agreed. And, and so this is what we have this exciting collaboration. Well, I know that this was just recently announced and I know that you've got to put things in place to get things going, but what do you hope this collaboration and this partnership is able to do right away here in Kentucky and then see it grow? I heard recently in a speech, the words coalition of conscience. This is, allows us to make the work that we do in higher education more readily available to communities. The average peer review paper is read by 10 people. The average academic book, 100 people. So this allows academics to have conversations and make our work more readily available to communities. It also allows us to have community conversations so we can understand what kind of research communities want to happen here in Lexington, Louisville, across the state, across the nation. So it's a new paradigm. Not only will we do the work uh, that we typically do as academics, but our work will also be derived from communities. We also see this being very helpful in terms of attracting students and faculty and giving them uh, various opportunities to do work around social justice and civil rights, high level peer reviewed work. So we're, those are things that we're gonna be doing right away. Um, and, and there's many other things that as we gain partners, community partners, uh, we plan to do much more. I know that you have brought in some new faculty members and you've actually got acclaimed civil rights attorney Gregory Vincent on board as well. This is gonna bring to the table something really interesting and a lot of different perspectives, I would assume, for your students who are gonna be taking part in this. Yeah, no, absolutely. We brought in Greg Vincent, who is the outgoing grandsire archon of the Boulay, former college president, former college vice president, spent at Wisconsin, Oregon, LSU. Uh, he is the new executive director, and we're just so fortunate and lucky to have him here. We also brought in a young African-American woman, Sarah LaCour, uh, from the University of Colorado Boulder. Uh, and two thirds of our faculty hires this year were people of color, one third were African American. Uh, what an incredible opportunity for us to make a difference in the national and local conversation about social justice and educational change. We have seen just in the last few months, so many young people get really uh, into this movement and being excited about making a change. Is that what you hope for your students with being able now to have this new collaboration and really get them talking and being involved? Absolutely. Uh, we called for a, uh, we did an open call for a social justice advisory committee. And we had 36 students step forward to do that work. And so we've kept them tuned into this work. We want to offer them opportunities uh, to do research and scholarly work in areas that impact uh, historically marginalized communities and communities of color. This allows us to connect our students directly with faculty that are doing work that's important to them. Uh, in a collaboration that's unprecedented. The NAACP has never undertaken a collaboration with the higher education institution, and they chose us. So I think it, it, it's a, it, it's, there's no playbook for this. Yeah. First time it's ever happened, 
and we want our students to be directly involved uh, with the work of the center in the coming years. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on the partnership. It seems like it should be a huge honor that it's here at the University of Kentucky, and this is a conversation that we've got to continue having every single day. Thank you for your time tonight. Absolutely. Go Cats. <laughs>